Listen and practice. Conversation 1. Hey, I heard you're in the market for a new laptop. What kind are you looking for? Yeah, I need a new laptop for work. I'm looking for something that's lightweight, has a long battery life, and can handle multiple programs running at once. Have you thought about getting a MacBook? They're known for their longevity and performance. I've heard good things about MacBooks, but they're pretty expensive. I'm trying to stay within my budget. That's understandable. Have you looked into any PC brands like Dell or HP? They have some good options that are more affordable. Yeah, I've been looking at some Dell laptops. They seem to have good reviews and are reasonably priced. That's a good choice. Do you know what specs you're looking for? I want something with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, a solid state drive, and a good processor. Those are important specs for multitasking and running programs smoothly. Do you plan on buying it online or in store? I think I'll go to a physical store to check out the laptops in person before making a final decision. That's a good idea. Let me know if you need any help or recommendations. Will do. Thanks for your input. Conversation 2 What do you like to do when you're at home? I like to relax and watch TV or read a book. Sometimes I'll cook a meal or do some cleaning. That sounds nice. What's your favorite room in your house? I really like my living room. It's cozy and comfortable, and I have a big TV to watch movies and shows on. That sounds great. Do you have any favorite home decor items or pieces of furniture? Yes, I have a really comfortable armchair that I love to sit in and read. I also have some artwork on the walls that I really enjoy looking at. That's nice. Do you have any hobbies or activities you like to do at home? Well, I like to do some yoga or stretching in my living room. I also like to listen to music and dance around a bit. That sounds like a fun way to stay active. Do you have any plans for home improvement or redecorating? Yes, I'm actually thinking about repainting my bedroom and getting some new curtains. I also want to get a new rug for my living room. That sounds like a good plan. Do you have any tips for keeping your home clean and organized? I like to do a little bit of cleaning every day, like wiping down counters or doing a load of laundry. It helps me stay on top of things and avoid feeling overwhelmed. That's a good approach. Thanks for sharing your tips and talking about your home with me. Conversation 3 Hi, can you take me to the airport? Sure thing. What airline are you flying with? I'm flying with Delta. Okay, I know exactly where to drop you off. Thanks. So how long have you been a taxi driver? I've been driving a taxi for about 10 years now. Wow, that's a long time. What do you like about it? I enjoy meeting new people every day and hearing their stories. Plus, I get to explore the city and see new places. That sounds interesting. Have you ever had any unusual experiences while driving a taxi? Oh, plenty. I've had passengers who were in a hurry to get to a job interview, people who were heading to the hospital for emergency treatment, and even celebrities who wanted to remain incognito. That must be exciting. 
What's the busiest time of day for you? It depends on the day of the week, but generally the busiest time is during rush hour when people are commuting to and from work. I see. Do you have any advice for tourists visiting the city? Definitely. I always recommend checking out the local museums and trying the local cuisine. And if you're not sure where to go, just ask me. I know all the best spots. That's great to know. Do you ever get lost while driving? It happens occasionally, but I always have a GPS system to guide me. And if I'm not sure where I'm going, I'll ask for directions. That's smart. So, what's your favorite thing about being a taxi driver? Honestly, it's the sense of freedom and independence. I can set my own hours and be my own boss. I can see how that would be appealing. Well, we're here at the airport. How much do I owe you? That'll be $45. Thanks for riding with me and have a safe flight. Conversation 4 Are you planning on going to the phone shop today? Yes, I am. My phone has been acting up lately, and I need to get it looked at. Do you know which shop you're going to? I'm thinking about going to the one in the mall. They have a good selection of phones and accessories. That's a good choice. Do you have any specific phone in mind that you want to buy? Not really. I'm just looking for something that's reliable and fits my budget. Have you considered getting a refurbished phone? They can be a lot cheaper than buying a brand new one. That's a good idea. I'll ask the salesperson if they have any refurbished phones available. Great. Do you know what time the shop opens? I think they open at 10 a.m. I want to get there early so I can get my phone looked at and get any repairs or replacements done. That's smart. Do you need a ride or are you going to take public transportation? I think I'll take public transportation. It's cheaper and more convenient for me. All right, well good luck with your phone shopping. Let me know how it goes. Thanks, I will. Conversation 5 Good morning. What can I get for you today? Good morning. Can I have a medium latte with almond milk, please? Of course, coming right up. Would you like a pastry or anything else to go with that? Hmm, how about a croissant? Great choice. That'll be $7.50, please. Here you go. Thank you. Your latte and croissant will be ready in just a few minutes. Thanks so much. This is a really cozy coffee shop you have here. Thank you. We tried to create a warm and welcoming atmosphere for our customers. I can definitely feel that. Do you have any recommendations for something new to try on the menu? Well, our seasonal pumpkin spice latte is always a popular choice this time of year. Or if you're feeling adventurous, you could try our lavender honey latte. Hmm, I think I'll stick with my usual for now, but the lavender honey latte sounds intriguing. Let me know if you change your mind. Here's your latte and croissant, enjoy. Thanks, this looks and smells amazing. Glad to hear it. Is there anything else I can get for you? Actually, can I have a glass of water too? Absolutely, I'll grab that for you right away. Thanks. By the way, do you have any outdoor seating? 
Yes, we have a few tables and chairs outside on the patio. Feel free to take your latte and croissant out there if you'd like. Perfect, thanks so much. I'll definitely be back again soon. Conversation 6 Do you take the bus often? Yes, I take the bus to work every day. It's usually pretty convenient and reliable. That's great. Have you ever had any interesting experiences on the bus? Well, one time I met a woman on the bus who was traveling to visit her family in another city. We ended up talking for the entire ride and she told me all about her life and her travels. That sounds really interesting. Do you usually talk to people on the bus or keep to yourself? It depends on my mood and the situation. Sometimes I'm in the mood for conversation and other times I just want to relax and read a book. I can relate to that. What do you usually do on the bus to pass the time? Usually, I listen to music or podcasts or read a book. Sometimes I'll just people watch and observe the other passenger. That's a good way to pass the time. Have you ever missed your stop on the bus? Yes, unfortunately. One time I was really engrossed in a book and I missed my stop by several blocks. It was pretty frustrating, but I just got off at the next stop and walked back. That's happened to me before too. It's easy to get distracted and lose track of where you are. Definitely. But overall, I find taking the bus to be a convenient and affordable way to get around. Conversation 7 Welcome to the car wash. What type of service can I assist you with today? Hi, there, I would like a basic car wash. Great, our basic wash includes a wash, rinse, and dry. Would you also like the wheels cleaned? Yes, please. Okay, that'll be $15. Please drive your car onto the conveyor belt, and we'll get started. Thank you. While we're washing your car, would you like to wait in our customer lounge or run some errands? I'll wait here, thanks. All right, your car is all done. Here's your keys. Wow, it looks so clean. Thanks so much. You're welcome. We also offer detailing services if you're interested in a more thorough cleaning. Not today, but maybe next time. Sounds good. Don't forget to ask about our loyalty program for frequent customers. Will do. How often do you recommend getting a car wash? It really depends on how frequently you use your car and the weather conditions. We usually recommend once a month as a general guideline. Okay, good to know. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that's all. Thanks again for the great service. You're welcome. Drive safely. Will do. Goodbye. Conversation 8 Do you need to go to the supermarket today? Yes, I do. I need to stock up on some groceries for the week. What's on your shopping list? I need to get some fruits and vegetables, bread, milk, eggs, and some snacks. Okay, do you have a specific supermarket in mind? Yes, I'm thinking about going to the one on Main Street. It's convenient and has everything I need. That sounds good. Do you know what time they close? I think they close at 9 p.m. I want to get there before it gets too crowded. Good idea. 
Do you need any help carrying your groceries? No, I think I can manage. But thank you for offering. No problem. Do you have any specific brands or types of food you prefer? Not really. I'm open to trying new things, as long as they're healthy and taste good. That's a good attitude. Do you have any tips for saving money at the supermarket? I like to look for sales and discounts, and I also try to buy in bulk when possible. It can save a lot of money in the long run. Those are good tips. Thanks for sharing. Let me know if you need any help with your shopping. Thanks, I will. Conversation 9 Hi, I was wondering if I could schedule some time to talk to you about my work progress. Of course. How about we schedule a meeting for next Wednesday at 10 a.m.? Sounds good, thanks. I wanted to discuss my current tasks and goals, and get your feedback on how I'm doing. Great. Let's start by going over your current tasks. How are you finding them? Some of them are going well, but I've been struggling with a couple of the more complex projects. Okay, can you give me an example of one of the more complex projects you're working on? Sure, I'm currently working on the marketing plan for our new product line, and I'm having trouble figuring out how to target our ideal customers. I see. Well, have you looked at any data to help you identify who our target market is? Yes, I've looked at our customer demographics, but I'm still unsure of how to reach them effectively. Okay, let's take some time to review the data together and brainstorm some ideas. How about we schedule a follow-up meeting next week to go over your progress? That sounds like a good plan. Also, I was wondering if you could give me some feedback on my performance so far. Of course. Overall, I think you've been doing a good job. Your attention to detail is impressive and you're a good team player. However, I've noticed that you sometimes struggle with meeting deadlines. Is there anything I can do to help you stay on track? Thank you for the feedback. I think I can benefit from more guidance on how to manage my time better. That's a good idea. Let's work on creating a plan together to help you manage your workload more effectively. And don't hesitate to reach out to me if you need any help or support. Thanks, I appreciate it. Conversation 10 Hey, have you ever been to the mountains? Yeah, I've been a few times. Why do you ask? I was thinking of planning a trip with you. Do you want to come? Sure, that sounds like a lot of fun. When were you thinking of going? I was thinking of going next weekend. Would that work for you? Mm, I'm not sure. I have to check my schedule, but I might be able to make it. Great. So, what kind of equipment do we need for the trip? Well, we'll definitely need hiking boots, some warm clothes, and backpacks. And we should bring plenty of water and snacks. Okay, that sounds good. What about camping gear? Yeah, we'll need a tent, sleeping bags, and a portable stove to cook food. Do you have any of that stuff? No, I don't. But we can rent it from an outdoor store or buy it online. Good idea. And we should also make sure to have a first aid kit in case of any injuries. Right, safety first. Do you have any recommendations for the mountain we should go to? Well, it depends on what kind of hiking we want to do. There are a lot of great mountains with different levels of difficulty. I'm up for a challenge. 
How about we go for a more difficult hike? Okay, I know just the place. It's called Mount Baldy, and it's a pretty tough hike, but the views are amazing. Perfect, let's do it. I'm getting excited already. Me too. I can't wait to hit the trail and explore the mountain with you.